this week's team of the week is gonna be, that's right, the Chicago Bulls. So for the rest of the week, all of my tutorials, I will be using the Bulls as the featured team. Now, the tips and tutorials, obviously you can use it for other teams. It's just that I will be using the Bulls to showcase the offensive schemes, the defensive schemes, the specific moves, and the money plays. So you can use these and apply to the other teams you want on my team offline, anywhere. But I will be using the Bulls for the entire week as the featured squad because they are the only team in the NBA that is truly 10 men strong as you just saw. So without further delay, let's get into today's tutorial with the Chicago Bulls Sam Fam style. Alright family, so for those of you who have been with me since 2K15, you know I like to do what I call perfect team recipe. I like to cook these up once in a while. So I'll be using the Bulls this week and in the description there is a straw poll. You can vote for the team for next week. So there are options there. So go to the straw poll yourself and vote. You can vote multiple teams, but you can only vote once. So vote for team you want for next week's uh, team of the week. And yes, with these team recipe, what I'm going to do is that I'm going to break down the team in detail and I'm going to show you how to best use each squad. And in terms of the boost, today's tutorial, I'm going to separate the starters and the bench unit. Like I said, they are 10 man strong. So I'm going to have a freelance offense for the starters and a freelance offense for the bench. And yes, there will also be money plays coming this week that fits into the boost that you can also use in other teams. And I'll also break down specific defensive settings that suits the boost style that you can also apply to other teams. So without further delay, I'm going to show you how to use the boost starters. And yes, you will be using the pace motion freelance. Alright, so there is obviously the big three, Kyle Gasol, Jimmy Butler, and Derrick Rose. And they fit great in the pace motion set. So you see here, what you want to do is, this is the wall flush I talked to you guys about. This is very strong between Derrick and Jimmy. You can get that pick and pop. But make sure you send Jimmy into the mid-range. He's a better mid-range shooter than three-pointer. Still works great. Also, Jimmy Butler is very good at this high pick and roll with Pal Gasol. Jimmy Butler is a good passer and he's very tall, so is Pal. This is very effective. And here, obviously, Derrick Rose can also run the pick and roll with Powell on the side. So this is pretty much a strategy where you are keeping the ball in your star player's hands within the pace motion. And what you're going to find the most success is that you want to run the pace motion offense, but you want to make sure all three of your offensive stars get to touch the ball. And the best way to do that within pace motion is to have the player bring it up. You see Derrick Rose on the wing there. I'm going to go up to him, hold circle and turbo, hand it off to him. That flow right into a pick and roll with Pal. And if you do it like this, all three gets to touch the ball and bang, success. Now, when I'm attacking in this way with the handoff, I actually don't have any predetermined results in my head. I'm just actually going to run the action and see what the defense gives me. If they give up the roll, I'll take it. If they take away the roll, I'll go back outside to the shooter. And all three stars got to touch the ball there. Here it is one more time within pace motion. If you see the other superstar on the wing, hand it off to him, dribble back to the middle, hold, pick, and let the other big man star come up. Here, I just didn't want to run the pick and roll. I was going to run the flush, but I wanted to see if Pal can pose it down low, and he does not disappoint. So this is how you find success in pace motion with all three of your stars. Make sure they all get to touch the ball, or have two of them touch the ball. But do not have any predetermined results. Just flow through it. And the handoff in that wing, in that middle to corner handoff is going to be your best friend. That's actually how the Bulls run it in real life. So that's awesome. All right, now let's take a look at Mr. Tony Snell. And he's pretty much the uh, default catch and shoot guy in all of this. So you still want to make sure your star gets to touch the ball. But if you see Tony Snell open, you got to do him. He's probably going to get a lot of open shots through... Uh, probably three or four passes within the pace motion offense. So that's a good thing. If you can make a couple of swing passes within the pace motion after penetration, you're doing great. And if you can get Tony Snell an open shot, he is most likely going to stick it rather than not. I think he has an 80 three-pointer. Look, you see it there. I'm keeping the ball between Powell and Derek. Got it, Tony Snell. Tony bang, Snell. bang, bang, bang. Corner free ball. It is again, Mr. Snell. This time we got another pick and roll between Powell and Derek. And remember what I said, multiple passes and you'll probably get the ball to Snell open and there he is. Bang! Woo! Tony Loving it. Alright, now, with that said, keeping the ball in the star's hands, making the stars rotate the ball to Tony Snell who is a good catch and shoot shooter. 
that's all great offense, but you need variety. So sometimes you can also actually run pick and fade with Miratic. And that's why the boost is so great. And this is also why it's so nice to have a stretch four within the pace motion. Because the stretch four is not just there to stand and take open shots. I haven't showed you guys this yet within the pace motion. You can actually run pick and fade with the stretch four. Here, take a look and see what happens. So I'm bringing the ball with Derek. And this time I'm running a pick and fade with Miro. And because Miro is a good shooter, if he gets his fade, do not hesitate. Stick it all game long. Bam, let's go. Oh, great beard, great beard. Here it is again, we're gonna run a pick and fade with Meritic, and this time you can see as clearly as he fades out, all five players are outside of the paint for a second. So this means you can actually get really easy high-low post-up between Meritic and Talgasol. There it is. Because Meritic is a great, great passer, and he's a tall guy. So if he catches the fade and there's no shot, just call a quick post-up. Talgasol will most likely die from uh, post to post because the pace motion is completely open inside for him to seal. You get great precision, go to work in the post. Pick and fade with Miratic, high low pass to Palkasol. Now here's another action. Once again, we pick and fade with Miratic as the trailer. He was the drag screen. And this time we're able to force a switch. This happens too. If you force a switch on the point guard, go to work. Miratic and one. He's very, very deadly within the pick and fade. Tons of options. Here it is again. Palkasol is the drag screen, but we're not gonna use it. We're gonna send Miro out from the corner. Once again, you can see as he fades out, five players are outside. Pal Gasol dives back in. We call for that quick pose up, high low to Pal, and we let Pal go to work. Oh god, I love, I love Pal Gasol. I'm happy for him that he's back on the pools inside the Lakers. Let's go, Pal! All right, last clip of the day. You can see Miro here again. We're gonna call it pick and fade as the drag screen. Make sure if you call a pick and fade with Miro, if he's a big man trailing, call it. He's a very good drag screen setter, and here we run a flush with Miro. Nothing. And look at that Pau Gasol handle behind the back. Spin move, Pau Gasol, and Miratek plays great together. So make sure you sneak in this pick and fade once in a while. So that brings us to the end of the tutorial for today. Now, if you haven't seen the pace motion tutorial, please go take a look at that because everything I showed here, that's the base. Now, this is already actually pretty advanced, but for those, all of the family members who have seen all the other tutorials, this actually probably comes pretty simple to you and it's, all these details are nice because you guys know the advanced pace motion stuff so I can actually go into detail like this with the specific roster. So if you have the boost, great. If you don't, if you have my team, you can run this the same way. Just players with similar skill set. this will apply to. Tomorrow, I will show how to run it with the bench unit but a completely different freelance of course and five different guys because like i said the boost at 10 man strong so wrote in the straw poll in the description for the team you want next week there will be money plays money moves and also defensive settings coming for this boost squad i know i said money play but they're not cheese i just i like saying money play it's a good word <laughs> all right anyways so that's it make sure you wrote in the description for the team you want to see next week and uh, in terms of channel update, I was also able to train another YouTuber. And it was awesome. No spoilers. So I will show that video sometime this week when he releases his. Yeah. All right, that's it, family. So make sure you check back uh, this week for more Chicago Bulls featured teams tutorials. And yeah, I'll see you next time.